I'll try to watch through the scope again, but we've all seen how good I am at that. <laughs> this is the Hornady Steel Match. 55 grain, I believe, hollow point. Are you recording right now? Yeah. Hey, thanks for letting me know so I don't say dumb shit. No, oh, you can. <laughs> I'm going to. No, I will. I'll just keep my mouth shut now. So... Oh, I guess I forgot, I need to, okay. So this is the new, to me, Faxon Firearms, heavy fluted, stainless steel with the melanite or nitride coating or whatever. Um, 416 R rifling, rifle length gas, one and eight twist, on the Aero Precision Upper, Geisley two stage, Bushnell three to 12. And right now we got Hornady Steel Match 55 grain. So Joel and I are out here trying to do a little accuracy test. I kind of broke it in, probably got like 100 rounds of Tula through it. Cycles Tula just fine. So we're gonna see if we can shoot anything. I'm gonna go for, I guess, that upper left dot, Joel. 10-4. Parallax is set on 100, right 100 yards of course. A little bit of breeze to our face, I don't think blame the wind if I don't shoot very well. Nice. That was four, right? We're gonna go five shot groups. Kind of jerked that one. That was five, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's it look from there? Okay, a couple inches? Pretty darn good. You're touching it at least on a couple of them. Sweet. <coughs> Fucking A. Um, what should we try next? Let's try. Hornady Super Performance Match. On one, I can't tell. What's that? You might have hit it direct on one. Cool. Um, 75 grain boat tail hollow points. So, features amp jackets, whatever that means. We just bought a bunch of different loads out to try here. Oh, shot some of these already. So we'll do five of these. Right, huh? Sounds good. I'm not comfortable. I get nervous when I'm shooting for groups. I don't know why. I just want to do really well, so I get like nervous. Psych myself out. All right, now I'm settled in. Top right. even on the paper. Can't tell. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, I think you're hitting the orange. I'm gonna wait till there's no wind. 
I think all three of them are really good shots. I yeah. think two of them hit the orange and one is just barely off. Yeah, good so far. Gotta be one. That was my fault. Probably. Cool. He's still on. You're still pretty close to orange. That was good. So we did. Seal match for one match. Let's try next. Try some of the D-Mac three man. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. This is sixty-one to sixty-nine. Yep. Freedom Munitions sixty grain V-Max. These are remanufactured, so. Yeah, he's a remake. See how well they shoot. So far, I'm pretty happy. I mean, given the fact how much I'm wiggling and there's a little breeze, and I'm not that good of a shot. So, <laughs> all right, I'll do left side, second one down, I guess. Ten four. That was a good pull. Five, I think. Yep. Not bad. I think they're all shooting fairly well. Mm -hmm. that, and that. that was a great group and just like barely above the orange dot. But it, it, it was good tight though. It wasn't bad. Yeah. Here's some ammo I've never heard of before. Hornady Black. I haven't heard of it either. It's also a 75 grain boat tail hollow point. It's probably similar to that super points. Hornady Black. Figured I'd try it. It wasn't super expensive. It, it was 15 bucks for 20. Yeah. That's not cheap, but cheaper than true match grade. God, that's the nicest brass I've ever seen in my life. So, Hornady Black, 75 grain hotel hollow point. This is uh, also 223. I don't think I have any 556s five, five, with me. Thanks for being my spotter, Joel. Oh, I'm not so sure I'm doing the best job at it, but... Well, that's all right. We're not really adjusting anything. We're just seeing how tight it'll shoot, so... <laughs> you chose a good job because it's low pressure. <laughs> all right, we'll do that right one then. We'll just work our way over. Already. Correct hit. Kind of an awkward height, isn't it? It's kind of. I should have brought my rifle if I was thinking. EMC X-Tac match. Uh, 
77 grain OTM. Uh, it's got a Sierra bullet in it, apparently. So I've got high hopes for this too. This should, this should shoot pretty fucking good. I think at the end we should shoot a little group of Tula just for fun. <laughs> After getting all these good groups. <laughs> All right, where are we? I guess we're left side, third one down now, aren't we? You betcha. All righty. <sighs> Heart's beating. Well, I hope it's fucking beating, but you know what I meant. That's pretty tight too, wasn't it? It's all left though. Yeah. Which is fine. We're gonna have point of impact shift on all these. It was tight for sure. More hornady. Which one's this? Also 75 grain, so it's still on the point. It's probably all the same fucking load. They just put it in a different box. Oh. <laughs> This is just Hornady, I don't know, generic. Just Hornady match, I guess it's called. Also 75 grain, uh, both tail hollow points. See what it does. Oofta, third one down right. Or hog semi, I bet. that well I think the sun moved and now I'm having a hard time seeing the holes I've got pretty high hopes for this stuff I've never shot federal premium what's it called this oh. federal premium it's supposed to be good stuff I've never shot it it's expensive it's not bad 77 grain Sierra match King boat tail hollow points gold medal match loaded in 223 So we'll do five of this. This is the last sample I have, other than for fun. I'll shoot some Tula just other to compare. Tula. I could do this all fucking day, Joel. Yeah, this is awesome. We need to shoot some pistol. Did you bring pistol ammo? I did. I can't stay forever, so. Okay. Got all the time 
we'll be, we'll be done with this in just a couple minutes and we can uh, we don't have to do any pistol okay that's fine I'll, I'm gonna do some probably anyways so all right if you got I, I understand if you got a, if you're on a time constraint I'm always busy on my days off well yeah you don't get many off then when you're so I don't know I'm gonna try to kill a turkey this year oh I need to there's turkeys down there what every spring all the time yeah yeah what are we now fourth one down left I believe yep direct hit First one wasn't a very good trigger press. I like how you turned it. I think your first one was a direct hit, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then for fun, let's do a five shot group of Tula. Tula. <laughs> Five or two left. Honestly, not bad. Not good either. No. Compared to your other group. No, absolutely not. We walking down there? Yeah, we might as well. That's amazing. That's all the sample ammo I got. So, I guess that's it for I forgot, I've got some 62 grain green tip shit. Yeah. I'll show you the range results today from the heavy fluted Faxon 18 inch barrel, it's got a rifle length gas, um, 416R rifling, and it is stainless, it's got either a nitride or a melanite on it, I'm um, coating, but uh, it's 5.56, five, um, my last one was 223 wild, but 5.56 um, five, chambered, um, heavy fluted they're calling it, so really, really good barrel I think so far, it's on the Aero Precision upper with the bush now that you've seen on the channel before and aero precision um, 15 inch m lock and geisley two stage and uh everything so pretty good day at the range there was a little wind nothing too crazy but uh wanted to show you some groups i've shot about 60 rounds of just tula through it to just kind of dirty up the barrel and get it kind of broke in before i did any of this testing here um so I have eight different loads here. I wish I had a couple more, but I think uh, it shows the overall performance pretty well. Um, three to 12 power scope on this gun. So my 12 power scope, my crosshairs would almost perfectly cover up these little uh, one inch circles. So okay magnification. Um, maybe not the greatest for shooting groups, but I think it was, it was okay. Certainly better than the four power on the other gun I got with the ballistic advantage barrel, but First group was five shots of the Hornady Steel Match. Um, this is a 55 grain hollow point load. 
uh, two two three. All these rounds are two two three. I didn't have any five five six. So um, that is the first group there. And five shots end up being two point one inches. I bought a cheap uh, micrometer to uh, measure these with off of Amazon. Um, but decent little group there. Um, we had a ten mile an hour kind of gusty wind, but I think that's just is what it is there. Um, the next group was from the Hornady Superformance match. Um, that's a 75 grain boat tail hollow point. Um, and we also got a 2.1 out of that as well. Um, if you can see that there, first shot up here and down the, down the, down the line there. Uh, next group I shot was the um, Freedom Munitions 60 grain VMAX. This is actually remanufactured load. Um, and I got an inch and a half out of that. So three touching there. If you wanted to cherry pick three, that's got to be under a half inch there, maybe even three-eighths. Um, but pretty good group, pretty happy with that. The next load was from an ammo I'd never even heard of before or even seen. Um, I believe I found this at like Shields or something. It's called Hornady Black. Um, it was a little cheaper, like $14 a box um, when the Superformance matches them like 22 But it's also a 75 grain boat tail hollow point and I'll be damned if that didn't shoot 1.4 inches there so I think it's a little bit better than that superformance so um, pretty happy with that um, really nice little group there next shot or next group was shot using PMC X-TAC match um, this is a 77 grain Sierra OTM bullet um, really, really, really pleased with that. Um, right at 1.0 inches, I rounded to the tenth, so 1.0. So I thought that was a really pretty nice group out of there. I was really, really happy with that. Um, the next load was just um, Hornady Brown Box, I call it, just Hornady Match. Um, it's also a 75 grain boat tail hollow point. So I think that and that. And that I'll use the same bullet, um, but it tightened up from those other twos even a little bit more and shot 1.1. Um, I just did one group per every ammo, so who knows? I'm sure if you did five groups of each, you could really choose really nice groups. But this was just kind of practical accuracy here. The next group we I shot was an ammo that I had never shot and really wanted to get a hold of, so I finally bought some. It's the Federal Gold Medal Match, Match King. Um, 77 grain Sierra uh, Botel hollow point um, and that was my first shot and I knew it was when I shot it and then there's my other four so the whole group because I need to count it five shot group was 1.6 but those four on their own was a 0.55 so I wish I'd have just uh, ignored that one and shot a sixth one and seen what it did but that's what I shot, so that is what it is, but hell of a load there. That barrel really liked that stuff. And just kind of comparison for fun, um, at the end there I shot uh, just 62 grain FMJ Tula, just kind of as a baseline, and hell, it even shot it pretty good, two and a half. So that's not bad at all, I don't think, for uh, for just cheap Tula. Um, and in my experience, Tula's even a little bit worse than Wolf. Um, your mileage may vary. so. Faxon, 18 inch, heavy fluted, really happy with all these groups, really nice gun I've got together here finally, and uh, hopefully I shoot it more, and as the barrel gets dirty and full of copper and whatnot, I think the groups might even tighten up more, and I'll keep buying some different loads to try to test stuff, um, and if I would ever reload, I'd, I think I could make some hand loads that this baby would really shoot well. Um, shoots really soft, being that rifle length gas but yet it fired the Tula no problem. I've heard of rifle length gas systems struggling with steel cased ammo because it's supposedly underpowered. I don't really buy into that. Um, in my experience, it drops the same as these other good hot loads. Um, but I think that gas port size is more important than um, length of your gas system. In my experience, I don't, I don't have any real science to back that up with. Um, but yeah, so really, really fun day at the range. Really enjoyed myself. Should be a really good gun here and uh, in the future. 
I have any updates on it or problems or other good things to report, I'll definitely do so. So thanks for watching, guys.